when there was one out. Lara has shut them down for the most part. Until now, Jefferson to deep left, and it's gone! Janae Jefferson with her first home run of the season, and she is pumped. <laughs> Make it home run number one of her career. Wow. That is hard to believe. <laughs> it really is. Takes the pitch up in the zone, moving away from her. And Alex, it just kept going about belt high, lets it travel and then shoots it the other way. I thought it was going to hit the top of the wall, but it just kept going. And to see her excitement the minute that she got to second base and as she rounded third and headed home and into the dugout, oh, it just brings a smile to, I think, anybody's face who's watching. Keep that ball. Get that ball for her. Two-time All-American. First career home run. And again, establishing herself as one of the greatest to ever suit up for the Longhorns. Still can't believe it. Her smile is so big. I love it. Texas back up by three. Having three record a year ago, seven and two this year entering today. Jefferson lays down the bunt. She's always tough to catch there. And another bunt single for today, Jefferson. She has reached four times today. It's been non-stop, and this is a beauty. Perfectly placed, enough away from Mia Davidson to where she, every time she was taking a step to go and get the ball, that was one or two extra steps for Jefferson to be able to make her way down to first base. Really well done. Perfect the, placement. The top three hitters in the lineup, Jefferson, back up to the top of the order we go with Janae Jefferson, who reached on an error in the first, swinging away, sends this one to deep left field, off the track and the wall. And here goes Washington holding up at third, and Janae Jefferson is in there at second with the double. All of a sudden, she's an extra base hitting machine over the last few games. Janae Jefferson, you just can't say it enough. The complete package, great second baseman. I don't think we can say that she's underrated anymore. I think everyone knows who she is. Finally getting that recognition that she deserves. We've known it, Alex. We've sat and called her game for the past three years. We know how good she can hit the ball. Just so impressive, the numbers that that woman. That one. Oh, that was an awfully close play. It looked like it was definitely going to turn foul. It did not. Jefferson has now reached in her 24th straight game. Unreal. And she's automatic pretty much when she lays down the bunt. Yeah, if you're Kasaza, you should just let this one go. It had some English on it, and it was headed that way. Yeah. Have to know the speed and just how quick Jefferson is. I don't... It's just... She's so fast. You probably think that you could make that play, but by the time that she picked it up, Jefferson was basically already at first base, but that bunt may have spun foul. Yeah, that was definitely going to roll foul, but... Jefferson sends one to left field, and the Longhorns have a base runner. Such good hands on that hit. Got down the count, one and two. Dietrich tries to go up and work a pitch up and down her hands. I mean, it was at her eyes. Look how she just gets her barrel there, comes up out of her leg just to be able to get more of the top half of the ball. That's why she's an All-American. Jefferson at first, and here comes one of the hottest hitters. Just really seeing the ball well, and just so impressive. She's always been strong out there. And so has Janae Jefferson, who immediately reaches with that automatic bunt single. And she has now reached base safely in all but one game this season. Janae Jefferson, the whole infield knows she has the ability to put it down. It's the way she's able to place it. She's so good, Alex, about getting the ball off the end of the bat, deadening it right in front of the catcher. I mean, she should put on a clinic. <laughs> Unreal. So she's over. Sends that one back up the middle. Leadoff hitter aboard for the Horns. She's so good at hitting with two strikes. She really is. 
I mean, this pitch is essentially right down the middle. Not a great location for an 0-2 pitch, but nothing. Facing one of the best hitters in the country, Janae Jefferson, who has reached in all but one game this season, lays down the bunt single. Gendorf hesitated a moment and then throws it away. Even with that slight hesitation or kind of slipping coming off the mound, good throw. She gets Jefferson. You like to see that explosiveness off the mound. Well, you could tell she felt the pressure to try and mm -hmm. get the speedy Jefferson and just rush the throw. Jefferson back up the middle. Texas is going to grab the lead. Janae Jefferson drives on two and is safe at second. 3-1 Longhorns. It's another two-strike swing for Jefferson. For the 23rd straight game going back to last year. This time on an error in the first. Swing it away. Base knock for Janae Jefferson. Career hit number 201. She really likes to use the left side of the field. Swing at the first pitch that came at her and just shoot the other way. Well, here she needs to go right at hitters. And impressive. We talked about Jefferson, how good she is in that leadoff spot. Has yet to strike out this year. She takes the walk. Has that great batting average as well. Wax out pass to shortstop Taylor Pleasance. And into left center. That's the way the game begins. Janae Jefferson. That average keeps creeping up towards the 500 mark. They certainly have the offense. Yeah. Full count to Jefferson. That'll drop in there in left center. She's aboard for the second time today. They're doing a good job with two strikes. We've seen Texas be aggressive early in the count, but when they've gotten two strikes, they've just really battled. This coming on a full count. Janae Jefferson pulling her hands tighter, closer to her body, being able to get her good part of her barrel to that ball and that one had to have felt good coming off her bat okay what happens here you know means Tarleton State would be down to their final three outs belts it to right field the hit parade continues hard to go back to Courtney Day's at bat that air that would have got him out of the inning that would have been the third out however Katie Schaefer <laughs> Throws it away. <laughs> that took a wicked bounce. Back got up on Pleasant. Yeah, that Quick. ball was hit hard. And she got into position to field it. I think that's going to go as a base hit. You would think so. This is like a laser at her. He's in front of it. Ball off. Yeah, generally during these midweek games, you would see a freshman matchup. Obviously, with the way schedules have been this year, Texas already having quite a few games canceled. That changes things up a little bit. Base hit to center field for Jefferson. That begins the Texas first inning. You see that pitch at the belt, and that's really where Haley Hudson has been good this season, is not making those mistakes, leaving balls up over the plate. Team runs combined yesterday, the two contests against Lamar and Sam Houston State. Jefferson back up the middle, off the glove of the shortstop, and today Jefferson reaches again. It's a position that they've had some, some injuries there, so they've been moving some people around at shortstop, either via Davidson. She's on the top 50 preseason watch list for USA National Collegiate Player of the Year. It's a good one. Pleasance tried to make a backhanded play, and I don't think she needed to. I don't, I don't either. Just needed to take one more step and make that ball an easier play. 